the beginning and the end. You who create all humankind in your image and in your likeness. We continue to submit ourselves under your throne of grace. Continue to ask that you remold us, you break us, you melt us, you fashion us, and you grant us to obey your law, your precepts, and your commands on a 24-7 basis. As we continue to the TRRC sitting this morning, we do ask that the witness that will be before us this day, that you will guide and direct him so that he will be bold enough to speak the truth and grant uh, the commission, the designing spirit to design between truth and falsehood and the population at large and the diaspora and also the international community grant them the willpower to exercise maximum patience to allow the due process to take its proper course. <coughs> this we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, um, uh, Mr. Pedeco. Council, if we are ready with this morning's witness, let's proceed, please. Uh, good morning, Mr. Chairman, commissioners, and members of the audience. We are ready to proceed with the witness. Thank you. Thank you. I, Yankuba Sonko. I, Yankuba J. and Sonko. Do swear that. Do swear that. I'll speak the truth. I will speak the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So, so help, help me God. God. Uh, good morning, Mr. Sonko. Good morning. Uh, welcome. Council. Welcome to the TRRC. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Sonko, we do interpose interpretation in one of the local languages. Uh, which would you prefer your testimony to be interpreted into? Um, probably in Mandinka. Uh, I believe the Mandinka boot is already set up for that. Awesome. Thank you very much. Um, uh, Mr. Sonko, you are a lawyer. You are trained in the law. So you understand the rules. Okay. Um, you have just taken an oath to speak the truth. Uh, you know as much as I do that um, it is an offense under the laws of this country to provide false or misleading information uh, to, to, to the commission or to lie on the oath. I do. Uh, Zero is a council coming for a minute to go. It is a moment to me along go. Ye currently loyal, emu loyalty. Yal no cool member, Sarbul Taman de Blum and Beje, Nime Alonco, Nibina said and Ru Dila, a Inana Kumasoto Balofo, where Kolea cool member on Yatil on a yard lone. So Bijikirin in Naloco, Ela said and Ronu Vijon in Kono, Ebe Kuma Kumul men for Bay for a Jamaica Kumasoto Remold, said and Ronu Vijon in Kono. You are called today not as an adversely mentioned person. Eh dalilo me asabu ye kuma de yambi amanke nyinti ko eh itole fota jans yo nyi wicho nyin kono ko ye kuleke. There is no allegation here that you have committed a human rights violation. 
There is no suggestion that you have committed a crime. Uh, but uh, you are called here as a witness to certain events. And your evidence is important for the commission to be able to draw conclusions and about those events. So your truthfulness, your candor, in the evidence that you provide would help the commission. Uh, being painted in bad light or unpleasant things being attributed to a person does not necessarily equate Conduct. I hope that is understood as well. Uh, but that does not also mean that mistakes were not made, <laughs> that there were no omissions. Uh, in discharging responsibilities. Uh, and the commission would uh, make findings for whatever it's worth. On those particular issues. On that note, are you able to start? Thank you Thank you very much. Uh, we can make this a short hearing. I know you are a minister of state. Uh, we do not want you to spend all your day before the commission. So we'd be happy if you would answer the questions directly and then we conclude this quickly so that you can go back to your important functions. If we need to spend the time here, we would. So you can make it easy by answering questions directly. I am certain. Thank you very much. Kindly give us your full names. My name is uh, Yankuba J. N. Sonko. Yankuba J. N. Sonko. Yankuba J. N. Sonko. J. N. Sonko. J. N. Sonko. Yankuba J. N. Sonko. What does the J, J and N stand for. J N N. My mother's name is Johnny, and my father's name is Noah. Mbama tomo Johnny leti, mfama tomo Nuhaleti. Thank you very much. What's your, what's your date and place of birth? I was born on the 2nd of May, 1964. Where the village of Bunyalu, Lower Nyomi. Where the village of Bunyalu, Lower Nyomi. Uh, tell us about your schooling. Or, or just give us a brief summary of your of your biography. Uh, I know, Mr. Sonko, there is a lot to say. Huh? A lot of education and a lot of positions. So let's just summarize it and uh, you know make it. I attended Berending Primary School. Uh, from the year 1969. 1969. 1976. When I sat to the GCE level examination. 
upon completing my my school I attended um, in service um, teachers training course education department whilst awaiting my posting as a teacher I was a police recruitment. That was in September 1982. I joined the recruitment selection. Fortunately for me, I, I passed the recruit examination. I started my recruiting in, in November. The same year. I completed my five month training in, in March. 1983. 1983. Uh, and, uh, and now let's try to uh, to summarize. Police in in 1988, 1988, and I proceeded to Nigeria in 1990. Complete my cadet officer's training in Nigeria. I stayed in Nigeria for two years to complete the course. I returned late 1991. 1997, 1997, I went to Togo, I went to Togo, in a course on conflict resolution. In 2002, uh, 2003, I went to United Kingdom. This was a self-sponsored course. I stayed in UK from 2003. I came back in July 2007. 2009. 2009. I attended another course in America. Two weeks. Then in 2014, I enrolled for my bar vocation, BL. I completed BL in 2015. No, Karango Bang 2015 Sango Kono. Hey, these are my educational background. Council, you know, Muna Karango is a Nanga Muluti, Na Londi Silulumanu Karang. Were you called to the bar? Were you enrolled? I was, yeah, yeah, I was called to the bar in 20, uh, 2015 and enrolled in 2016. Young Kumandi, Lua Bunda do Kuala Karola bar. 2015 between in 2016 and, and tell us the, about the positions you held uh, post, post post LLB okay. yes so we can we can forget about the corporal positions and the and the cadet positions and the inspectors so let's go to talk about it post bar I was first posted after two giving after two weeks break. I was posted to PIU as the uh, PIU commander. Yeah, some PIU in Telekatela Nyaton Koti Kamo Ben Telebuji. I stayed in that position. That's how Palasoto. A few months. And I was moved 
to prosecution unit of the Gambia Police Force. Do you remember the date? It should be early 2008. Because I spent about um, five, five months or so with, uh, with the PIU. It was immediately after Neko Basse. Hakilo Botala Neko, William Bancola, a funding kill Bela, Lukun Klim Bangoti, a Menke Basse, but a bureau Botala Drum, no more Nasaun Biroketa. Neko would that stand for National Youth Conference? Yeah, National Youth Conference. Basse, William Banco, Banco funding kill a Lukun Klim Bamba, Limbamba, a Menke. I was appointed as the CMC Crime Management Coordinator. In that time, when we were in the police, the bunda like a former CMC, when the bunda member that couldn't go look be here, he was Then the same year, at the same time, he then Deputy Inspector General of Police was um, arrested. Mr. Sonko, when Sonko. did you become CMC? So not 2009. Do you said 2009. Excuse me, uh, let me just rectify that error. I know I was the OC prosecution in 2000, definitely I was made CMC in 2009. Are you sure about it? Yeah. Yeah. Certainly so. Because that uh, was. Proceed. Yes, yeah. it, it follows the, the, the arrest and detention of uh, Brahma Diba and Ibrahim Jame. Uh, I was the CMC at that time, I was the OC prosecution. Uh, um, Jame. Jame, Jame Konta. No, no, Jame. Um, I think it's Ibrahim. His, his nickname is Kunchi. Kunchi. Uh, ato eka komandi to fana man William Kunchi. Brio Lumuta. Utumolo yente bundi police laki tender bunda la yenati CMC. Not automatically from that, uh, from 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 prosecution to CMC. But a man keko aketa lum kunto quality kabo. It was Esa. It was Esa Baji who succeeded Brahma Diva. Esa Baji wole say ta Brahma Diva noto. A man keko bira aketa lo yente chikanang prosecution kanat CMC. Esa Baji le say ta Brahma noto. It was when. Unko ti IG utumo lonte na ta na ta CMC. Then I was the most senior officer on the, the crime management unit. Kato otumo nyinkuja wolu doko marabunda ntele katamoti men la palaso be chikari ngodolu beti. I spent the almost uh, um, two thirds of that year. Wosango ni atala sidula saboti. Sidula flu be sango nyinkono nga obekeje. Very precise around November that I did in America. We didn't America to moment. The the IG called me. IG yang kumandi that I should submit my CV. Ko na karang nga lundi karang lumen ke asedia kai tulu konsiyo di. He said he's submitting all the CVs of the commissioners. Ko commissioner lube ila karang lundi asedia kai tulu abe lube ni lundi kawo tumo. The officer, the president. Puru kafuta ni bangko president la office auto. Who, who was the IGP at the time? Madam Police Officer Lokuntong Koti Owado. Esa Baji. And on, on, on my transit in Dhaka, on my return, then I, just to greet him, and he said, Congratulations. Bring a contong, but bring a contong, Afana, you contong, Biro Murundink, and Akonye Inin say. You are the one appointed as my DIG. Yentele Tombong. Yet a tombon ke bulandi in Tanoma, Memo DIG to William Police Kunton Kono Lanko, a thousand and nine. Into March, after five, four or five months. But I'm from March Karokono, bring Karina and Karinu Lutambita. Jesus was dismissed. Yet Jesus from Bundiala Palasoto. Then the, I was appointed as acting IG. 
tumole yente tumbong ye IG ya palaso karafama ya kafole acting IG. After two weeks. And uh, you served as IG until when? I served as IG on two terms. First from the 2nd of uh, March 2010 to November 2014. I then I received a letter from the office of the president and I am redeployed to the Ministry of Justice, uh, PL. School. I thought at that time it was a uh, it was a blessing for me. Because the, the, the workload on, as the IG uh, to be able to do undergo the course perfectly difficult. I reported and I was asked to proceed with my course. And that's how I completed my course. Then towards the end of my course, virtually a month before, uh, two weeks before I started my exams, I received Two calls. These calls are a little bit strange to me. One is from General Baji. General Baji Saying hello to me. And then um, teasing me. Amunta and um, we concluded that greeting. Two minutes later, my minister, my minister Usman Sonko, minister Usman Sonko, also called me. The same type of greetings. But for him, we don't have that joke, uh, joke relationship. Yeah, this time round, was it Mandinka Jola or Serer Jola? Yes, it was Jola. It's also Jola, so it's Jola is Jola. My mother is of Serer. I know. So he said he is going to Basse, and when he comes back, he wants to talk to me. Awa olona konya akabita Basse. I was on a Friday. It was in the month of Ramadan. Then General Baji again called me on, on Saturday. That's why I said it's a little bit strange to me. Because he, we discussed on the same issue as we have not discussed that before. Because, because he repeated the same phrases. Because Then my wife was beside me. I told my wife something is to happen. We have to be prepared for it. It's either arrest. Or appointment. My wife said, "Let's pray for your appointment." And on Sunday, uh, why did you think of arrest? That has been most of the time because when I was, uh, um, could you take that again? Could you take that again? Pardon? Could you take that again? Why did you think that, that has been the trend? Well, I think quite a number of my family members were asking me to go out. I don't know if I bad in the Kulumu, Jama Bijamu Bafo Kanya Nanda Ha, Nanda Boje and Abu Dukola. And I insisted that no, I'm not moving out an inch. Quite Hani Manta Hani Jan Ninsim Far. Because to me, I've not done anything wrong in this country. I don't tell a Carola Manta and a water like in Bangkokan. If you want to. 
You made me to suffer, you're just doing it for your own pleasure. Mumundi left and tebatandila, what we back and I found a needy alakan. But you said that this was the trend. Yeah, quite a number of people were arrested. Uh, this, uh, the moment you are removed, what follows next is the arrest. That what mo ya ke mo jamali la ni do lubundi la palaso to abuka me kote abuka ni me drongi saje sine muda. As IGP, hmm. okay, IGP when this trend was unfolding. Did you tumala me no kuru bela nyaya be wola nunyama no. Did you believe that this was lawful? For it a lot of people who are unlawful. It's not lawful. It's not lawful. I'm not lawful. I'm not lawful. Yet all of you continue to serve this regime that perpetrated unlawfulness against you, its citizens you, as a trend. You, you have a choice of serving or not serving, but the, 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 the threat remains the same. At the time, I was able to continue to do this. But I was able to do this with the same time to do this. Because when you served, you may likely be subjected to that type of harassment. When you also refuse to serve, probably that would be the worst. So we all of us, are, we stay on to serve. Did you think that the threat of arrest was legitimate? Uh, yes, it was. Did you have the easier option? Well, because we, you cannot predict what is to happen. What I, I personally, what I cannot do is to leave my family here and be there. Member dia lante watu mo. Nina dimba ya lui tu nyoka njanga nimbadi mulu. Wole be fisi ya lanye ngabanku bula ngata amani ngana atara jeko ngatara ke tumaranke ya ti tumaranke ya me ya longo animbata alem. Katuzi angole be dia lanye. In a sense, Mr. Witness, you are saying. You would rather serve an illegitimate government, a government that would violate with impunity the rights of its citizens, than to leave that government and, and do something else. What I will do is to make sure that I don't do that. Mbemen kela, wole mnyintimba katalele nya besi o nya mankana wo sila jawota. I feel very um, happy when I, upon completing my BL. And I'm not worried anymore. Why? Because I know I have a career. So it was all a selfish calculation. It's about myself and my family. Everybody here looks after your family. My family is your priority. And my family is my priority. And I don't want to leave them in this country. One being a destitute hit there outside, and also my family suffering here because I will not be able to do anything for them. I've been in the UK for seven years, I know how I suffered. I was going to school, from school to, to, to work, come back, read for two hours, sleep again the following morning. That was my life. Mr. Witness, we ask these questions because we want to know uh, why is it that public officers we are compliant to your Jamis wishes. Sir, I left the country long. We did not make a sabu. Jamado kula me a sabu be be song kang yaya jamie ye kula me a long kwat menga diya. Even though they knew that a lot of the things he was doing were unlawful. Hano nya nya ya long ko jamado kunda. But at a personal level, I did a lot that goes against yaya jamie. Maso so kum kula on on my ti ala. Nama soso kodo kula jama besundi ya ya jamme ma alafta mene na katama wale la bari nte kuno nte kuno fango nte ngoku jama leke mene ya longo e ni ya ya jamme la lafina kulo manta nyola manke am aketa nyindi ko nte kulo ke kama mene ya longo wanyata la kanga lufatata ne andu watu mo nte jiko be ni nata manga deng alalela because this this is very important. Rinyungu maya rabaka. A lot of people did illegal stuff. 
Et they claim they had no choice. They had to do that in order, in order to maintain their jobs because it was absolutely important for them to maintain their jobs. But here you are telling us that you have done a lot of things against your jam. Tell us about this. Well, <coughs> several police officers were. And I know they have an issue. That is to the knowledge of the president. The president. One of them is the, the uh, second to last witness here. And several others were dismissed. For Babukar was on the interdiction. With another person, Jai. When I came in at the IG, I asked for an assessment to find out officers who are sick, officers who are diseased and their, their entitlements are yet to be paid. Many along the Jankaros to Adun in Yantel and Yantol Menu Jola La Sotola Carola. Officers who are on interdiction, and then officer many along the Mutokolo. Officers who are on, 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 on certain punishment realize that quite a number of officers were uh, one way or the other among one of the groups. I interview all of them. And some of them, they have issues like Ba had an issue at uh, C4 regarding timber. He was interdicted for almost four or five years. And then uh, the, the matter was only mentioned in the first year. And never proceed. I decided that I should reinstate them. Because um, I went to their files. I only discovered that the person complaining or reporting the matter is related, or is a, uh, is related to uh, the former president. Because he works for a uh, former president's guardian in Sifo. Ordinarily, that matter should not have gone that far. And there are some disciplinary actions that could have been taken against the officer. And that we are not taking. And I, I have quite a number of investigators also. Who are also dismissed. Because they did not write what he wants to hear. Which who wanted to hear? The former president. Mm -hmm. And um, mostly, I have to end up vetting all files that are going to him. And if I know that is going to, you cannot write directly and said, there is no case in this. That has been the problem, the false statement. 
kadu asekeno oyatara modo ye kuma soto balo faye mo ko la carole and he has that in his mind bitu ba sondo mo kono the moment you say there is no evidence ni je tata ko se de man soto kari kam without laying your 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 conclusion mo ayatara dum ite mi dalilo lu yitan di je most of the time you are dismissed jama jama ke baye so i have to prepare their conclusions for them walanante ila kolu la nya ni la dalilo lu te kawo la yitan di because for example if it is uh, a rape case misali kama natara e ko nyapin kan ko le amari mu so le nyapin kan you have to bring out all the elements draw them down if it's not this then it should be this is it that then if it is not that then you can come that's how we uh, uh, he, he uh, moment I, I i put that before in our distance he will accept that but but you cannot you just say there is no evidence nimbe kuma lu kilaye mbuka foni na ko sede talade kadu nibe ko kundum bola e nyoto e kadalilo leddi ko ninnin ku kare to woto nyine ya sabu wala ninnin ten nyine mu ndaka ko lu baye nyoto wonya le ka baye ko nyine nyin sabu din dalila kare le benin koma o dalilo le ya sabu barbitum ka foko ha sede te nyin ko la e buka ko keno atela karola all the of that that were okay unless you would agree with me that all these examples you given or this main example you are giving is in fact nothing extraordinary this is what you expected to do as misal ni alon ko ke ke nyaar don ko de nyen da kay misal si faldal fawol ke nyen da kay ni kool samba tenne of course why i i mentioned that i have not completed that statement yet ah ni aje nga fo ka mo ma ko bang bari kool la nya be tenne mo wotu mo i come to my action nguna ante fo wala kool to le all those that are dismissed in respect of investigations that i believe Uh, are okay they are, they are, they are, they are okay and he dismiss them i bring a brother all of them back mon lu ya lon ko ye be bay nu eh ntela foto je ntela taro je na ko lu jibe tu mo melna brin tata je ko nyil mu kulati men ya lon ko eh ila yirko man futa alu dulato no lu be mu rundi nan ne la place with his approval isn't it ala so kan i have never consulted him for any reinstatement nena man kuma faye ka fo be kare mo rundi la place to pour aller la songo itandi wala yalla balango itandi nena mo oke what i would do i have nothing to to challenge your assertion ma dem bulum be ban i take it that in view of your position and no ta men kam ma wala mi ndi la place kam that you are speaking the truth about koy de to nyaale fo ka nyinku woto and unless i have something to contradict that i would uh, i would assume that what you saying is right fo ni ngatra nga kuma do so do me alon ko be lako mo nyi so so la bari sai ni ba mutala ko ila ko to nyaale thing that is said here would be investigated and looked into ah nya o to nyaale ko ko fo rajan a be be kis kis la randu nga be jube la la be korosi kula la kodanke tell us who are these people that you have reinstated a fo nya jumal le nyim mold men yaala ko ye bayla no ye mu rundina without consulting with jam where tara ini ya ya jam man nyo moy folo this um babukar ba is one of them babukar ba be korole ke banjay ke banjay um another group of 11 officers yo kafulu bi je me yalon ko wol tatale fo mo tan amin kilim i cannot remember their names hakino te be to no sa def first 11 that are reinstated wala mo tan nin clean follow the name no murundina okay but how were these officers dismissed under who under what authority were they dismissed yenyum do ko dal bayno nyaadi le ye bay juma la kan ko i think the the informations were coming from uh, the, the it's around the provinces that they were engaged in corrupt practices and um, they were dismissed eh uh, jamon be ko some have political issues and they were dismissed jama be ko nebe do ko la min santol to bulon ko yo bitu ni lolu tumi tilimbal yalla tapale ya kolu yo bar dol fanal bi je wala kolu be dendim protiko kenya lela wala na biri yo lu bay mo jama tarta wo makamo le o tembole ton wodo mo dismissed by who ni wala ye bay um the fourth one that i reinstated is juju fadera même folo murundi ala pala soto ka folo juju fadera juju I think there was a it's it's a political issue you know come political it and then he I think that time he was the prosecutor around Farafenye and then some UDP 
members were arrested. What uh, was you did feel around 2006 or so, 1996. Yes. Ah. This, this would have been uh, 10, 13 years. Yes, I reinstated. <coughs> I brought him back. 13 years later. 13 years later. I brought him back. Uh, all that I feel. What, what I, was the authority for his dismissal? Because he, he, I think he, some, um, it has something to do with the, 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 the matter in the court and then they did uh, not make efforts to, 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 to convict those people. I quote a quote then I, I, I review all their listings because I know him personally. Um, I was a junior officer under him. Even though I seen out him after two or three years. But I know him and I know his capability and I know his efficiency. For, for, for those actions. <coughs> but yeah, it, no, would help. Help. it would help. It would help condense the testimony if you would just answer questions directly. No, no and that way we save a bit of time. Thank you. Who dismissed Juju Farrell? I wouldn't know, but it was a directive from the office of the president. No, the Jumala Guloba Kono de Bari, a Kango Botas office president of the office old. Okay. Did you write to the Secretary General to inform him that you wanted to reinstate these people? Not Nasafaroke, Secretary General Yenda Bankai, Tandala, we left a new Murundilan and Boko. Officers that are under the rank of Chief Inspector. It's okay. my mandate, prerogative to to to, uh, um, to appoint them. Officer Lumenu Lamakamo, the Chief Inspector Yeduma, you munta fana na kango ni symboliti pro kawulu ta do kola. If you are above that rank, I have to write. Niti Lamakamo be we santo la watoni anta safari ole kela. I have difficulties in certain officers who are dismissed, and I want to take, bring them back. Ngakole ya kuo soto Officer Lumenu la kola yamenu bayi bari puruke murundi nang ngakole ya kulo soto ole la kamo. With help of some secretary generals. I normally go to them and then explain the circumstances. They will ask me to write on behalf of the officer. Then I, I will write and then most of the time it's approved. It was because of that. And the latter you left alone in a co. Elante by two thousand and fourteen Sankolo. Wole Mukuluti, a man, Memadalilodi. Can you explain that circumstance? Why I say so? Because when um, I see General you know, Baji called me early in the morning and said whether I can come to his office. Munan Nangofo, Somanda, you know, General Baji and Kumandi, a cofonsina no, a la officeoto. What was General Baji? General Baji, I think he's a lieutenant colonel, he's a part of the senior state guard commander. General Baji, I think he's a first lieutenant colonel to all of us. But I tell him the state guards are not going to go to him. In the order of... I'm not serving at that time, I was dismissed. Otembo mandala do kola de yembaile. Seniority will not count as far as... Otembo palasi nyato nkaya... I see not him. Bari ntele bala, ntele la palasi oba nyato nungu otumbo mbiji. I thought we were talking about before your dismissal. No, but I read yamu kankula no watle na watu omene, jani ibe baila. No, it was, I said that was because I want to believe that my dismissal was in respect of the of the reinstatements and all the that I've made. No, I mean, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get out of here, but I'm going to be able to get out of here. I did not meet General Baji in his office. I'm going to be able to get out of here. I called him on the phone. I'm going to be able to get out of here. He said, oh, sorry, I'm out. I'm going to be able to get out of here. But go to Ansumana Tamba. I'm going to be able to get out of here. I'm going to be able to um, I proceeded inside the state house. Mtara state house Konotola. And I met um, Ansumana Tamba. Utumole ning Ansumana Tamba inoje. And who is who is this Ansumana? I can't Ansumana believe Tamba. that is the, the main state guard commander. Na mera utumo state guard commander atelemu atelefanamu walu ilak nyatongo. Because he was the most senior 
in the state house at that time, apart from General Baji. General Baji Kola Watumo Atelefanana Palaso Beudulu Bekang. Then he handed over a letter to me. Tumolom a letter or dinner. I read letter. A letter or karang? It was my reappointment. Wala kita letter or ti yen sain kan ta do kuala. Was this reappointment because I'm still. You know, uh, Usman Songo called me and I, I met him and um, uh, he... You are talking about your reappointment. Yeah. The the question I him. asked is, you said these reinstatements were partly responsible okay. for your dismissal. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So my question was to, for you to tell us the circumstances surrounding your dismissal. Thank you very much. Um, for I think I, 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 I drill a little bit. Um, when I received the letter, bring any letter or soto. I opened it was my appointment. Your dismissal. What were the circumstances? No, I, I said I said because I don't know why, why I was dismissed. It was uh, a, I was first uh, redeployed to Ministry of Justice. November twenty-sixth. November 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 In April. April. The following year. Two thousand and fifteen. I received my letter of dismissal. While I was undergoing the BL course. Then it was after that that I was called in, in July. And I handed over that, that letter. Reinstatement. I went to it, it was a short letter. So, so when you told us that it was the reinstatements that were responsible for your dismissal, you are merely guessing, you are merely speculating. I said, I said, I want to believe. I said, I said, I want to believe. I said, I said, I want to believe. I I want to believe. I I I then he saluted me. And he says, Sir, I have a message for you. His Excellency said, you, you beg on behalf of your people too much. Was that the reason why you were dismissed? Because well, that's and it's true because when time my, my officers were dismissed, all the circumstances, and most of the time he will accept it and then uh, uh, reinstate them. Yeah, Except yeah, for yeah. those that are dismissed when I was not the IG. For what you are near more by income and came from the Kawilikatakan, not another than in a satire, Munana, Maria, by ten Nakumobe by your Adunjamajama Akasone, is against your Marie Murundi. But for those for whom you had authority to appoint, do you go back to him? But in more than many along, yes, I do. I somebody that put it from my old tap. Oh, you can't tell about what I will always do is I will I will discuss the issue with my deputy. Jamaja man come and call him Nancy Bentakan. No, like a sick a cook. Most of the rest statements were when Edu Edu Sambu was my deputy. Jamaja ma wo mulu menu ngi mulu ndi aketa watu la watu men edu sambu simbenta kantu momen. I will discuss with him. Nasi kacha. And then tell him my intention. Sin insa je nganna ngani o fire left a men kela. There's somebody who will say, sir, if you think your consent, you know, you, are, you want to you do it if you want, if your consent is very clear in doing whatever you are doing, and then nothing will happen by the grace of God. And what a moon will let me along, Jamaja Macanino for Nyanko. Natara Ilatala, Coni Muku Tilin Dumuleti, Ila Miraroto. What a ke, no between new Becket or Cola, Alabina Fasala. So you suggesting that uh, you are reversing or overturning Yaya Jamie's decisions and nothing came out of that. I'm going to take a mirror old Diko, Yaya Jamel, Miral Jamal Biji, Alanganio, Calafica, Medical, we call Fanny Adola. I'm also very tactful in the way I do it. Uncanny Yamel Samba, Ferro, Calamo, Nicole Tandiji. All the officers that are dismissed 
I will move uh, uh, from a region or from a location. I will send them, I will reinstate them and send them to a different location. Ye palace palace tiyo lumenu be by intela Carola wo jama jama ninga fero ke hanufo ye murundi nang muke sa indi o noto de muke ninga ni ye murundi nang muke ki dinkira dolle to etado ko ke wa. Mr. Mr. Witness, I admire your courage uh, for 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 doing uh, what you telling us you did. Uh, but that too would have, in fact, been unlawful. This is a person sacked by the president, <laughs> and, and you reinstate the person. That surely would have I, been unlawful. I don't see any unlawfulness in this because I go. I normally review their matters. Man where I think there are people who are dismissed, and I will never bring them back. Man they have committed Manu. criminal offences, and I will never bring them back. But those that I feel by virtue of the report and the report is not pleasing to the authorities and they were dismissed these are the people and those that are politically motivated then i will i will reinstate them but among the people who are not a coconut katun kaju bele men ye kuja woke ye bayi muka wolu murundi nande kuja woke la lum fanam muka muwa wolu murundi nan muka molle murundi nan men ya lon ko nela ko jube fa ko tam mako nyin e amanke ko ko jawke ko la nyamu nyin nyineti woto amari si muruno nane wala nimme yalon ko politiko le be dendi ngala bayro la nka wolle jibe men yalon ko e mantana ke ndi fero ke kawlu murundi na you see uh, you looking at it from a completely different standpoint i can understand the rights violations involved in sacking somebody from his job when the person did not commit any offense but my point is, administratively, you are reserve, reversing the decision of the president. And it is not in your power to reverse the decision of the president. That would be ultra-virus, wouldn't it? If, if the decision is not lawful. If May this is quite refreshing. This is the first time we have had anything like this before this commission. And you, you're telling us that you did this several times. And, and, uh, you still survived it. Correct? Correct, because I, I, I always take God. Whatever I think is not right. I will in my revising it and take God that, mm. and take and be ready for any punishment because quite a number of my officers they know why I'm probably don't want to listen to me. But I will let them. That's that they had no choice. They had to do Yaya Jamis illegal illegalities or illegal orders or Yaya Jamis shenanigans. And because they were completely afraid that by not doing so, well, they would be attacked, they would be harassed, they would be arrested, they would be sent to the left-hand side of, uh, of, uh, of, 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 the, of the highway, they would be sent to mile two, to the five-star hotel and all that. What do you say to that? Silang, nene nko jube, officer jamabe do kola wotumo, ite la sataro nata ke munete anila dalilolu, ha. Wotembo niye ate nyato nkola kangulu soso e ye kuke memmandia ya adungu ate lafina kumuleti. Jama jama mune kakela isi deundi, isi mantora, isi batandi, wala ye bayi, wala ye kemara ala nkoti, wala nimanta mambe ye asiki ala five star hotel auto. Between Jamayalo Munamo, five star hotel oti, a well a mile to the Wokufa Sonle Lekaboy, Ima Rikang, Wella Najamako, Niaje Sontala Kamula, Wosilania Lea Sabo. I would say they don't believe in God. Tabemen Lala Kamula Mulumala Alala. I would say they lacked integrity. The council co what will a mole muti many alonko, a hakino lumalo tilimun in Tonyaka. I will give you a scenario. Also, to give names of all those who are posted from Sanyang. Bruce will be. 
This is over 100 and something police officers. In Seattle police came in front. When I received the instruction, to me, something had happened. But well, any time the president requested request names, you will know that something has happened. Then I sat with my management. I said I would personally respond to this letter. I called my personal assistant. I script. All my, uh, my, my, my text for him, and I asked him to go and, uh, and, 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 and type it. In that text, what I said is, Your Excellency, Your Excellency, the President, I know something has happened, but I want to narrow it down. To a particular police station. Uh, police station killing. To a particular relief. Wala do kula bunda alumenu bije. To a particular person. Wala kata hanufia longo bi ite be wole jube kanga mam amunda ibo umari le nyining kang. Because the way you ask me. Tatu yenyining kaka kuala nyaming. If I should submit all the names to you. Nyenyin tolu be safinge dila. Most likely, they will go home. And these are officers well trained. And to, to, to retrain their number is going to be very difficult. I send that letter. No letter Up to today. No response. From the inner. Do you have a copy of that letter? Um, it should be at the police headquarters. A letter or better the police call about. But luckily, luckily, you are Minister of Interior and you have supervisory yeah, authority yeah. over the police. Yeah, yes, I will request. If you want, I can request that. Please get us that letter mm -hmm. and uh, let us re receive it before Wednesday. Yeah. Mr. Witness, all these things are helpful to the Commission to understand the behavior of Gambian public officers, why officers acted in the ways they did. I would like to welcome the Commissioner. Some of the issues are in respect of civil servants. I remember the Minister of Health. I don't remember the name because she's, she is the last Minister of Health. During the, is she? She is the last Minister of Health during the, uh, the former president's time. I was an instruction, I was an instruction to arrest her. I send officers to, to, to get to pick her. We went into the investigation. It's about ticketing. And then the president was already on tour around Farafenye. And that instruction comes in. When I went into the matter, I know the intention. I decided to leave the matter to the Because I discovered on the spot that there is no evidence. Quite a number of my officers were a little bit uncomfortable. Uncomf uh, uncomfortable. I told them that I would take the responsibility. And most likely, they will never call me for this issue. Um, the, uh, uh, the former Minister of um, Justice made mention of my encounter with him and the President. Uh, in the State House. State House. And what about it? It was about um, giving them the names of people around um, at Kairaba. I went on this place. And I appeal. That 
that is cost us a lot of money to get all these officers to where they are. Or for them to be dismissed on a mere speculation. Because I want to believe that the information that he is to attend to their complaints. And he was very furious about that. In fact, he made mention of that in, in, the, in, the, in the, his inaugural speech. And I told him that these officers need to be reinstated. I did not stop there. There was a um, uh, inauguration, uh, sorry, some vehicles were to be received by military. And he mentioned the same police attitude of telling complainants to, to, to hire vehicles for their complaints. And he mentioned the same When he mentioned that, I, I responded. I told him that, well, Your Excellency, this is the number of fuel that is given to the police per, per year. Now, if I enquire, Your Excellency, essence of Nangamo, men can the police so less a worse than a year ago, many net. And this is the number of vehicles that the police force have. Adunyi Nangamo, moto Nangamo, ni nebe police so lubulu. The Honourable Minister of uh, Finance is here. It was Koli. Honorable Minister Member Tana Flo Kunya La Afenanti, Mr. Kolilem. Um, can we allow Koli to calculate the number of fuel per year for vehicle and per month and up to per day? Utumola ko Koli Sifereke Ayini Yirika, Moto Nangamo, Aning Sanso Nangamo Menkadi Moto La Sangokono, Karo Kono, Aditilo. Koli instantly responded to say it's two liters per vehicle. He was surprised and instructed that that fuel should be increased to 10 liters. He said that that fuel should be increased to 10 liters. I may have an attitude. I don't. You are an authority. I am never afraid of an authority. I'll give you the, the utmost respect. Uh, Mr. Witness, uh, Hello. you got away with all these things. Correct? Council, correct. Uh, you are the longest serving IGP in recent memory. That's, that's also correct. So the theory, so the theory that if you questioned Jame's decision, or you took the right decision in you'd be sent to mile two, or, or you would be dismissed. It's simply not true. Well, that's the only thing. For me, uh, uh, that could be people's belief. But my belief is that do the correct thing and God will protect you. And I will also protect you. Protect you huh? Mr. Right. Mr. Chair, we can have a break. This morning. There were quite a few who weren't protected by God then. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll uh, resume our, um, uh, our coffee break. I'm at, uh, at 12.30. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you.